While Senate leaders delay a vote on health care until after the 4th of July recess, RFD-TV's Washington Bureau Chief Sarah Mock reports what the bill and its delay could mean for you and your family. Rural Americans, and farmers in particular, have a lot on the line when it comes to access to health care. The single most common reason for farmers going through bankruptcy or facing foreclosure was health care bills that could not get paid. Uh, this is no small thing. As time went on, single family policies have become increasingly unaffordable and many fam farmers were forced to go without health insurance. It's been a tough debate, with senators from rural areas getting flack over the Senate's replacement bill. Many worry the measure, the Better Care Reconciliation Act, would leave rural residents with less coverage, higher health care costs, or both. The act hurts older farmers by permitting insurance companies to charge much more to their older customers. The increased tax credits many farmers would receive will not be enough to offset the premium increases of thousands of dollars they will be charged. Take the proposed cuts to Medicaid. The Georgetown Health Policy Institute estimates it will leave up to 51% of people in rural communities uninsured in states like West Virginia and Alaska. Rural hospitals share the anxiety of rural families. Medicaid cuts threaten the viability of these small town facilities by removing funding for patients they will have to treat anyway. Some hospitals fear they'll have to close, leaving even more families without local access to health care. The effect of both the House and Senate bills will be different from state to state. But studies show job loss is also a concern. A report by the Colorado Fiscal Institute finds rural communities will likely lose more jobs than their urban counterparts. Despite the delay on the vote, Republican Senate leaders are hopeful. Complicated subject. We've got a lot of discussions going on, and we're still optimistic we're going to get, get there. Just after the delay announcement, two Republican senators said they could not back the current bill, citing a lack of funding for access to substance abuse treatment, given the impact of the opioid epidemic in their states. Senator Capiro says, quote, as drafted, the Senate health care bill is not the right fix for West Virginia. Sarah Mock, RFD TV News, Washington. In a statement on Tuesday, the White House questioned the Congressional Budget Office's estimate that 22 million Americans would lose coverage under the bill, saying the CBO is better at estimating spending than health insurance coverage.